This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. A while ago I did a video on recorder hacks. Loads of you sent me new ones on Instagram and YouTube so I'm going to test them out, see what works and what really doesn't. I feel like doing sound effects so if something is working let's do this. And if not I've... <laughs> We're gonna hear a sad T-Rex roar. To mute the volume of your recorder, put an elastic band over the labium. Okay. I've just put it around like that. Move it up a bit. It actually works. How did I not know this? The more you cover, the more the effect is muted. Does it work? <coughs> to practice silently, take off the head joint, put the barrel against your ear, and then you can hear your fingers. Ooh. The idea is to put on a metronome. If your goal is to coordinate your fingers with a metronome in a fast passage and you need lots of repetition without annoying the neighbours, yes! You are all geniuses. I am enjoying these hacks. Making a music stand out of a coat hanger. Uh, it says all you need is a coat hanger and a bit of creativity. <laughs> I leaned it on my desk, but I could just take the coat hanger away and lean the book on my desk. I guess it's useful because this part of the coat hanger can stop the book slipping down. Maybe I don't have creativity. Maybe that's the problem. Ignore the mess that is my desk, but it worked. You've got to mess around with it a bit, but again, Next up, using a tampon to plug the head joint of your recorder when you're oiling. Heh? Normally when you oil your recorder, you want to oil inside the head joint, but you don't want to get any oil on the block or in the windway here. Normally we do this by knocking the block out, but I know some of you are reticent to do that. So Annika's suggestion is to plug the windway with a tampon so that then if you're oiling, you don't get any on the block. Ingenious. By the way, are you cool with me talking about tampons? I mean, I live in the Netherlands where it's the most normal thing in the world, but if you really don't want to hear me utter the word tampon, then you can go down to the timestamps below and skip ahead when I've finished talking about this scandalous topic. I did some research for you and it appears that a super plus tampon is the perfect size for an alto recorder. Uh, your normal tampon is going to be good for a soprano. The suggestion is to also cut off most of it. Just open this up. Uh, I'm going to cut off the bulk of it. I cut off the string. Uh, I've messed it up. Let's do it again. Oh, I've cut the string. Shit. <laughs> I try to cut it in half so that you can oil more of the wind weight, but the string fell out. You're still gonna want that string to pull it back out again afterwards. This is not working. Conclusion, an ingenious hack, but I don't think it's that sustainable. One, because tampons, I mean, it's quite a lot of waste, especially if you're not someone who uses them regularly. And you do want to knock your block out occasionally to clean it as well. For ingeniousness and creativity, for practical application. Uh, la, la, la. I saw someone on Instagram putting straws in all of their recorder holes. Don't know why. What is this for? I love the fact that this is my job. I have the feeling that some composer will love this, but... You can make a speaker for your smartphone with a toilet roll tube. Because I'm a scientist, I'm actually going to measure... Well, who am I kidding? I'm going to draw around my phone.
no discernible difference. Warm me up your recorder in your bra. I'm always telling you to warm up the head joint before you play, put it under your arm. And it's true, putting the head joint in your bra in the middle like this is much more efficient and it leaves your hands free. This is something that I always used to do when I was studying, get my recorder warmed up whilst I was doing my stretches or unpacking my stuff. However, especially if you're warming up larger recorders, they do stretch out your bras and a bra is an expensive investment. So if you wear a bra, try it, it really works, but don't blame me if they all stretch out. <laughs> If you play a bass recorder or larger with a pipe, this is for you. The pipe can take a lot of air, so to add a bit of resistance and to allow you to shape the sound, you can cover half of the opening with your top lip. I know this one works because it was taught to me by Maria from the consort counsellors. I just wanted to share it with you too. Oh yeah, this needs a... Play slow movements with a drum machine. I found an online drum machine at Musica. I like this. It's just like practicing with a metronome, but with a bit more feel to it and you can change the style of music. This could give some more inspiration. You could switch between playing it straight and swung, even different time signatures. <coughs> Couple of tenor fingering hacks. For high C, play with one, three, four, five. Mm, mm. And for low F, play without your little finger. <coughs> can it might be a bit out of tune but in a fast passage i'll accept it um for a mute fill half of the wind tunnel with paper Goodness. feels scary more paper It mutes it a little bit, but it changes the tuning a lot, which I actually find much cooler. Can't get it to work as a mute. And to be honest, putting loads of paper inside my recorder, I don't love. But the tuning is fun. You can sing while playing if you're playing it with your nose. I love a challenge. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> that was good. Ah, wait. <laughs> it's way harder than I thought. You have to sing and also go like. <laughs> There's just genuinely no way to make it sound good. Thanks for that though. Thanks for letting me do that on the internet. Tie knee socks together, put recorder in and tie under my arms. One recorder in place, no dropping. I'm not a very practical person and I don't have much spatial awareness. So, huh? What? <laughs> if I tie the toes together. Is this it? Oh, let's just have the head joint, shall we? Then I can tie this together properly. Oh. Oh, look at that. Under my arm, keeping warm, but I can also like do some stretching or grab something. Oh, is this what you meant? Cause it's working. Success. An unprecedented success. Have you got recorder hacks to share? I would love to hear them. Try them and tell me all about it in the comments. Thanks for watching this far. I'm gonna round off with a little word from our sponsor, Skillshare, who helped make these videos possible.
Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is a great place to start. One cool thing is that the entire catalogue is now available with subtitles in Spanish, Portuguese, French and German. It's just so nice to spend some time on something for you. For me, music is my day job, but now that it's spring, I'm gonna be using the Skillshare classes to get my garden sorted. The first thousand people to use the link in the description or my code, which is Sarah Jeffrey Team Recorder, check the spelling, copy and paste, we'll get a free month of Skillshare. And that's it. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. Over here's the Team Recorder Patreon where you can choose to support Team Recorder. And here's the original Recorder Hacks. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.